Hey guys, it's Manny Perks. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it's back to school season again and it's still unfortunately still online classes. But don't you worry girls, I got your back with these 10 easy and cute back to school hairstyles that would only take you 3 minutes to do or less than 3 minutes. And even though I'm taking gap year this year, which means I have no school, I still want to do this video though because these hairstyles would not only fit for back to school, but you can also wear them on a daily basis. Before we start, let me just say that yes, I know your cameras are turned off and you, you don't need to dress up. Sleep is way more important, especially if you're in a morning class. I know, because I've experienced that as well. But I've also experienced having to suddenly turn on my camera in the middle of the class because our teacher told us to. And when I look myself in the mirror, who obviously didn't bother to fix her bed hair and face. And yes, I panicked. And I'm pretty sure most students have experienced this. We don't want to embarrass ourselves in front of the camera, especially on the internet. So if you don't want to go through that, keep watching, girl. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Click the notification bell button and do follow me on my social media accounts. If you want to see more hair stuff, check out my TikTok. And similar to this video, I've also did a back to school hairstyle video for last school year. If you want to check that out, you can go over here at the right top corner or you can click the link on the description box below. Anyway, let's begin. First, let me give you a tip, girl. Before fixing your hair, make sure you put on lip tint or any color on your lips. We don't want to look pale and fragile, okay? If you're done with that, it's hairstyle time! Brushing your hair is crucial, so you must never skip this step. To be honest, this is my bed hair. I'm making this video as authentic as possible. First hairstyle on the list is a trending one. You know these claw clips? They've been trending on TikTok and Pinterest, so you might want to grab your hands on one of these. It's pretty simple. You grab all your hair, twist it, put it on the back of your head like you're doing a bun, and then grab your claw clip, pin that in place. To spice it a bit, you can put on clips if you want to. And that's done! Easy peasy cutie! This hairstyle is a great option if you like ponytails or if you want your hair away from your face. And using this clip is actually more convenient and faster than using a hairband or a scrunchie. I recommend that girls should have at least one claw clip in their life. After I bought this one, my sisters constantly borrowed it until they bought one for themselves. Well, good for them. Here's another great way to use claw clips. Instead of your whole hair, you can have a huff updo of the same hairstyle. Don't be afraid to make it a little bit messy. We don't want it to be too perfect looking. You just gotta show like it's effortless but still amazing. You know what I mean? There's also other versions you can do. This one, still the same at the back, but I showed my middle part and the front. This other version also showed my middle part, but at the back, you can see that I didn't have it in a twisted bun. After all, it all depends on you, girl. This next hairstyle involves butterfly clips or any mini clips that you have. This has that Y2K vibes inspiration, and it's slightly difficult to explain in words, but I'll try. First, part your hair in the middle, then on each side of the part, grab a piece about this size as what I'm showing here, and then you twist it whichever side you want, and then pin it down in place with a clip. Repeat this at least 5 more times like this one, and then you're done. This hairstyle takes a bit more practice if you want to make it real good and not messy. But personally, as I've said, a bit messy is what makes it look effortless but still looking cute. If you can't do the previous ones, this fourth hairstyle is definitely for you. You can do this with the middle or side part, whichever you like. To do this, pick a side of your hair, grab an average size piece, and then braid it. Fluff it a little bit to add volume, and yes, that's just it. That's done. It can look very simple to others, but let me tell you girl, there's nothing more effortlessly gorgeous as an accent braid. For the fifth hairstyle, we can incorporate our side braid, grab all our hair, and put it in a low side ponytail. 
You can use any scrunchie you like. I'm using this cute one with a hair tail. I don't know what else to call this type of scrunchie, but I say it has these tails, as you can see. And that's basically it for this hairstyle. Again, simple, effortless, cute, and gorgeous. Next hairstyle is my go-to, which is mini front braids as I call it. But in this video, I will show you a hack in doing this without using an elastic because we all know how annoying that is sometimes. First, park your hair in the middle, then on one side, grab an average size piece and then start braiding it. And as you braid it, you see the ends of my hair getting tangled up in a braid as well. Yep, don't untangle them, just keep braiding until you're at the middle. And then, make a small hole in the middle of the braid, grab the end, and put it right through. I suck at describing this, but I hope you get my point. Once that's done, repeat the same process on the other side, and that's it! doesn't have to be perfect as you can see my braid on one side is a bit thicker so just make sure you're braiding just the right amount of hair this seventh hairstyle is a continuation of the previous one so now that you have your mini front braids you can spice it a bit by gathering the rest of your hair into a ponytail you can use your scrunchie but i'm using my claw clip again because it's faster after i'm using my butterfly clips to pin my mini front braids at the back to do that, I grabbed the end of the braid, connected to the back, but not over my head, and then clipped it in place. Then I repeat the other side. I hope you understand that because my description still sucks. And that's done! It may look awkward at the back because honestly, this was actually an experiment of mine. I couldn't think of other ways to style the braids with this. But you can definitely change it to how you like. You just gotta let your creativity flow. Next up is a classic hairstyle, just a simple big braid. And I mean just braiding the whole hair into one braid. I don't think this needs any more description since it's totally understandable as what I'm showing here. What I can suggest to add spice to this hairstyle is to add on some accessories, like how I'm using a hairband with a bow on it and added a bow clip at one side of my hair. I tell you girl, accessories, they brighten up your look. I promise. Second to the last hairstyle of the video is another classic one, which is low braided pigtails. And as similar as to the previous one, this is self-explanatory. You just part your hair in the middle, braid each side, tie it off with an elastic, fluff the braids to add volume, bring down some baby hairs, and boom! You got yourself a cute hairstyle. Don't underestimate the low braid pigtails, okay girl? This fits to any aesthetic. You can make this girly with ribbons and flower clips, you can make it grungy with a headband, you can make this cottage core with like a triangle hair scarf. This is a versatile look. You just don't have enough and red accessories for it, but if you do, flaunt it. Last but not the least, it's the easiest of all, let me tell you, I'm throwing my tip back from my previous back to school hairstyle video and that is to accessorize it girl. If you have your go-to clips, go for it. I know at the end, you don't really have enough time to think or choose which hairstyle you're gonna wear for the day before the class, so what better and faster hairstyle to do than a simple clip it on accessory, am I right? Not gonna blame you though because I've experienced this as well many times. And that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the hairstyle inspirations and I hope this really helps. And if it does, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment your favorite hairstyles, and share this to your friends. Good luck, everyone, in your journey this school year, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!